Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here we go again today, another video on periodic trends. Bam! So today we're going to be doing a graphic of atomic radius versus atomic number. And you can see that the atomic radius is in picometers on the y-axis, and the atomic number is just increasing by one along the x-axis. Okay, I have labeled here some particular elements within group one. And as you see in group one, as the atomic number increases, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, then you should see that the atomic radius increases. So is this linear? The answer is no, it's not quite linear. It is linear to begin with initially, but it isn't linear. So why is rubidium and cesium not on the line? Why is rubidium not much higher up and cesium much larger also? Okay, if you were to pick any group within the periodic table, there would be a nice alignment just like this blue line here as well. Okay, but here is the reason why. Okay, I'm hoping that you remember way back into atomic structure that the rungs to the ladder are not equal distant. So the yellow sections of this ladder are the rungs to the ladder, the black sections are the rails to the ladder, those are where you place your hands. So the rungs of the ladder are not equally spaced. And this explains why rubidium and cesium are not on this line. As you get further and further away from the nucleus, then the rungs to the ladder get closer and closer together. That means n of 1 and n of 2 are the largest distances. And then n of 6 to n of 7 are very small distances. So as you get further from the nucleus, those orbitals don't get so far away, away from the nucleus, that is. Okay? So, but do look at that periodic trend and that graphic. That makes a lot of sense, hopefully. That was another video there for you. And here is a cool hat with, um, I must say, I've got paws on this one. Boom, boom. If you like that video, give me a, a paw up, a thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much now. Bye.